am your guest co-host, Destiny Diggs, of All Night Gospel Radio Show on WTMR 800 AM. On today's episode, we have Isabel Davis, the battle of the sexist talent show, and later Structure will join Lottie as they sing their hit single, The Days of Elijah. Welcome to the Lonnie Hunter Show, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a big hand. Yeah. And while you're showing your love, please show love to the beautiful and talented up and coming powerhouse in the radio industry, Miss Destiny Digg. How are you, Destiny? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I love your voice. Oh, thank you. I love that outfit. <laughs> And off for the shark. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. How old are you, Destiny? 23 years old. 23 years old. Yeah. Yeah. I was checking her, um, I was checking your Instagram, and the name of your Instagram is um, MBA... Up. Loading. MBA loading. Loading, exactly. So you're going after your uh, master's? Yes, in business. Master's in business, and you plan Correct. to be finished by when? Give me the 2020. 2020, yes. Masters in Business. <laughs> Definitely did. Yeah, that's a good look. Well, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a great time today. I was standing backstage, and, you know, kids, they say some strange stuff. <laughs> but if you just listen to them for a few minutes and then think about it for a few minutes, a lot of what they say from a base level could be true. So I'm driving around the Thanksgiving holiday, right? And after Thanksgiving is Black Friday. So my son looks at me and said, now I'm gonna tell you this, but um, act like I ain't never told you this. <laughs> so this is gonna stay between just me and you, okay? <laughs> he said, I thought Black Friday meant that only black people could come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? And I thought about it, I was like, well, it makes sense, you know, from an African-American standpoint, if you call something black this, you think it's about us, right? Oh, yeah. And then I thought, you know, you might have an idea because that means if it's gonna be a Black Friday, there's got to be an Asian Friday, there's got to be an Italian Friday, there's got to be all these other Fridays where I don't have to leave the house because I'm not that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just stay at the house and chill for at least 12 Fridays out of the year. Am I right about it? We can use an extra holiday, am I right? Yes. So uh, another friend of mine, have you ever been on the way home from church and your, your kids were in church with you and they hear the same songs you hear? Mm -hmm. But when they're singing them in the back seat on the way home, <laughs> the words that they think they're hearing is so far off. <laughs> My brother, he has two sons, right? And his son gets in the car and says, um, uh, Daddy, now his father's a pastor. Daddy, I, uh, I can speak in tongues now. <laughs> his father says, you can do what? I can speak in tongues now, and I know that you can't, so I'm more spiritual than you are. Uh-oh. He was like, well, do you want me to teach you how to speak in tongues? He was like, yeah, son, teach me how to speak in tongues. He said, well, first you got to do this. Raise your hand. He did this. And he said, then you got to spell the word college backwards. <laughs> E-G-E-L-L-O-C. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Is that good, Dan? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> now you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure that you put the fake cry on top of it so it looks like you're really deep, all right? E G E L O C E G E L O C. Any word or any spelling that has two L's next to each other, if you say them quick enough, you speaking in tongues. Get yes. Uh, 
We are going to have a great time tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to be here with you. Today, of course, on the show, my friend, my buddy, for real, Miss Isabel Davis is with us. Yeah. Also, I am so excited because a lot of times when I'm doing this stuff, I'm doing this stuff and I don't, I don't sing. But today, I have got my singers with me. Structure is with me. We'll be doing David and Nothing for real. Not only are we singing, but at least three of y'all out there are going to get a chance with the voice that God has given you. Now, now I'm going to tell you how to do it. When somebody asks you, can they sing, and you don't want to be mean, you just say, you really were singing. <laughs> Now, they can mean whatever that wants to mean, but you don't have to be mean. You know what I'm saying? So three of you all are going to sing tonight for the Battle of the Sexes talent show with your chance to win a five-day, four-night stay in one of three vacation locations, including Mexico, Las Vegas, New Orleans. How many of you can use a vacation? Yeah. So stay close. We'll be right back. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show right here, right now. Let's get it done. Yes, sir. We'll be right back with more of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Love Records presents the Kenneth Wilson Corral's new CD release entitled Incorruptible Seed. Phenomenal new anointed recording will truly be a blessing to you. The Kenneth Wilson Corral truly ministers the word of God in song. The Kenneth Wilson Corral take you to a high place in worship with their new CD. Available everywhere gospel music CDs are sold. From Vision to Manifestation is a superb, brilliant book worth reading. Bishop Dialdo Jones of Poor House Church in Indianapolis, Indiana. Riveting, dynamic, and insightful are just a few words that describe the message that Bishop Lloyd shares with his readers. Dr. Michael Carter, Praise City Worship Center, Toledo, Ohio. From Vision to Manifestation is a must read. When spiritual visions begin to manifest in the natural, God's perfect plan becomes complete. This book helps you hold on while waiting for the manifestation. Vernon Isby, CEO of the Gospel Connection magazine. Bishop Lloyd reveals secrets from heaven that will work on all ages, cultures, denominations to come. From the author, Bishop Eric Lloyd, From Vision to Manifestation. Available in stores and on Amazon. For more information, call 313-245-9055. From Vision to Manifestation. My name is Dr. Tony Booker of Booker Productions, and I've just got to have Noise of Joy, the movie. Yes, sir. There it is, family. Second episode of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Here I am outside looking like I'm on some top secret mission, like some. <laughs> bro, 
private detective, but it's all good. I want you to make sure that you keep looking at the surroundings because I got an announcement to make at the end of the show and you probably will be able to guess what it is if you just pay attention. Man, I'm so happy to be out here today, ladies and gentlemen, and that, mon that monologue I just did, that's only my second monologue if you've been keeping up with the show. You're going to grow with me, family, I promise you, and we're going to try to give you everything that's anything in not only the gospel music industry, but comedy, dance, praise and worship, barbers, beauty, uh, beauty shops. <laughs> I mean, what do they call beauticians? Yeah, we're going to bring some beauticians. We're going to bring some stylists to let you know how gospel artists come out on stage and how we look like we look. All of that stuff is coming this season, so you don't want to miss it. All right, you're in the right place at the right time. Getting a behind-the-scenes look at what's about to go down on the Lightning Hunter Variety Show. We are two shows in, baby, and it ain't doing nothing but getting better from here. So stay close. Oh, the Lightning Hunter Variety Show. Go. Welcome back to the show. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. It is time for your Get It Done set of the week. Listen, you hear this a lot. Favor ain't fair. Favor ain't fair. Favor ain't fair. Even when you get something and somebody thinks you shouldn't have it, your first response is favor ain't fair. But I submit this. Favor is 100% fair. Because God has no respect of person. He knew what you were going to be and what you were going to have when you were, uh, when you were conceived. He knew what your future was going to be. He knew the plans that he had made for you. So what's happening is you are working towards that end. So the favor that's coming to you is absolutely fair because to say that it's not would suggest that we serve a God that is not fair. We serve a God that is good at what he does and has no reason to think any other way that he is not doing the right thing for you. What they really mean when they say favor ain't fair, favor ain't fair to the people who don't want you to have what you have. So in order, you feel me? So in order for them to feel better about the fact that they have not worked as hard as you, they have not grinded as hard as you, they don't pray as much as you, they don't get in the word as much as you, which means they don't know the promises that God really has for them, so they don't know to ask for them. But what they do know is how much they see you being blessed. So in order for me to feel better about that, instead of me saying to myself, I need to get in God's face, I need to increase my relationship with God, instead of me saying that, I just say, favor ain't fair. Let me tell you something, favor is fair, and if you want the favor of God, it is available and free to you. Get it done. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed pleasure to bring this young lady out. She is one of the foremost voices when it comes to praise and worship. Everything she puts out goes to the top of the charts, and she is here with us today. Put your hands together and show your love for Isabel Davis. <laughs> hey, Lonnie. Hey, Mama. Oh, good to see you. Too. Love you. Isabel, you look good, girl. Thank you, Lonnie. So do you. I see you. I Thank see you. <laughs> <laughs> so how has this ride been? Man, this ride has been so surreal, so humbling. Um, I'm just, I say, I say this all the time that, you know, it's been a season of hashtag ugly cry, you know, because it's, we know that God's promises are yes and amen to yeah. those of us that believe, but when he's actually you know, they're coming to fruition, it's still mind blowing, you know what I mean? So I'm just so humbled and just grateful. And, and well, with you honored. being now a household name, yeah. everybody that knows the call, they knows Jesus, he, he loves you, yeah, all, Jesus, all of that. You. Jesus, we love you. Yeah. How long ago was it when they didn't even know your name? It hasn't been long. I mean, it's literally been a little bit over a year. A year. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's just a testament to how our God works and how, you know, he doesn't need our permission uh, as to how he wants to do things, right. you know? And so, um, yeah, he sort of hit fast forward in my life and I'm just, I'm enjoying the ride. <laughs> One of the things good. that's so incredible about you is and I think a lot of people that want to do what you do needs to hear this part yeah. of your story. Yeah. You were a praise and worship leader at your church. Yes. For how long? So I started out worship leading around 
2005, 2006, and that was in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, but once my husband and I got married, um, I relocated to New Orleans and came under the anointed covering of Bishop Lester Love and yeah. Pastor Fran and continued there as worship pastor. And so from about 2005 till almost what, about a year ago? Yeah, um, 17. And, yep, 2017, I've been worship leading. And I think it's so important, as you mentioned, that as worship leaders that you're locked into a ministry that you are accountable somewhere and that you have leaders who cover you in prayer especially when you're going to step into a season where now you're traveling the world and you're there's different spirits and and, yeah. and things you know in the atmospheres that you're entering and so you've got to have that prayer cover you've got to have that mantle that's you know over you so yeah it's it's something that i still do uh but this is kind of taking that front seat for this season, so. I'm gonna ask you a question, and a lot of praise and worship leaders would probably stray away from this question. Okay. You don't listen to praise and worship music all the time. <laughs> 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 what, did you just see your turn red? <laughs> what is, who is your favorite R&B artist? Okay, so most of my youthful, super youthful years, like middle school, high school, and even elementary, I was a huge Mariah Carey fan. Huge. Really? Mar and that was, you know, vocals were on point, all of that, you know, so I, yeah, that was someone that I like, I would, when cassette tapes were still really cool, I would, <laughs> wow. Wow. I would listen to all the way up until the last little run of what the background vocals were doing, because I just wanted to hear it all and take it all in. And I love to challenge myself and try to do all her little runs and that's a yeah, challenge. That, it is a challenge. And she's got mad range. She's What's your favorite R&B song? Um, so obviously it's going to be a Mariah Carey one um, from one of her not so old albums, but it's called "Always Be My Baby." So Always, yeah, oh, y'all know that one of those hits. <laughs> y'all not deep. Y'all not saved. Y'all not saved. <laughs> yeah. Sing some of it. Okay. You'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. Boy, you too, you can't escape me. Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby. And we'll linger on. Time can't erase a feeling this strong. No way you're never gonna shake me. Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that is talking about. Thank you, Lottie. I love for people to just see the other side yeah. of your offstage persona. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. How many kids do you have? So I have three babies. Um, I've got a six-year-old, about to be seven-year-old uh, boy, Cameron. And then my little daughter is four years old. She's every bit of a princess. And she has daddy's heart completely. Um, and then my youngest is 17 months. So, wow. Yeah. You have a 17-month-old. I have a 17-month, yeah. And he's all balls of joy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so, Isabel, check this out. Yeah. A lot of times when we get introduced places. Yes. And people say our names, a lot of times they get our names wrong. Oh, yes. I'm going to give you an example. I know the struggle. You know what I'm about <laughs> to tell you, right? So, we were in, um, where were we? At the fair. What, we, what, what state fair, was that? Uh, state Fair of Texas. Texas. Is that we where it was? Texas. Dallas. And we were going through the state fair getting food and all of that kind of stuff. It was me, her, and two other people. Yeah. But for some reason, one of the people that was with us kept calling this person name, and they were talking to her. They kept saying, yeah, and Elizabeth, I don't know. And Elizabeth, I love the way Elizabeth, and we, we're looking at, we did not know. who is she talking about? <laughs> this woman was with us the whole night. The whole and we night. Got, when we got ready to leave, we got in the car and we were taking her to her car. Yeah. And when she got out of the car, she, the girl in the back seat said, Bye, Elizabeth! <laughs> said, that is not that oh, girl's name! <laughs> I thank That's you awesome. so much for coming, Elizabeth. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you, Isabel, for coming. Oh, Listen, man, would you I'm sing your, your, hit, your hit for us? Yeah, absolutely. Can you stay around a little bit? Oh, you know it. Y'all want to hear it, right? I'm here for you. <laughs> All right. Come on, I love you. Love you for real. Thank stay you. Stay close for more of the Lonnie Hunter Show. <laughs>
From Vision to Manifestation is a superb, brilliant book worth reading. Bishop Dialdo Jones of Poor House Church in Indianapolis, Indiana. Riveting, dynamic, and insightful are just a few words that describe the message that Bishop Lloyd shares with his readers. Dr. Michael Carter, Praise City Worship Center, Toledo, Ohio. From Vision to Manifestation is a must read. When spiritual visions begin to manifest in the natural, God's perfect plan becomes complete. This book helps you hold on while waiting for the manifestation. Vernon Isby, CEO of the Gospel Connection magazine. Bishop Lloyd reveals secrets from heaven that will work on all ages, cultures, denominations to come. From the author, Bishop Eric Lloyd, From Vision to Manifestation. Available in stores and on Amazon. For more information, call 313-245-9055. From Vision to Manifestation. I know, right? You don't get any more genuine than Isabel Davis. Man, I'm so proud of her, and I know y'all want to hear her sing. She coming. Of course she's going to sing, right? But I wanted to tell you, one million views this chick has on her latest song, Wide as the Sky. Y'all got to go to YouTube and check that out. She's doing it big. Now, she's going to do one of your favorites for the show today, but I wanted to just stop in here and just say to you, listen, Isabel Davis is the real deal all right now you see around me right we just in here can you believe that a stage looking like this turns into a stage that looks like what you have been seeing and that's only step one come episode three you're gonna be like what is going on <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be good family so make sure you meet me here next week because you never know on a variety show what you're gonna get all right, come on, let's go back to the show. I love y'all for real. The Art of Becoming by Michael Berry, pastor, author, songwriter, radio host, husband, father, and visionary, reveals to the readers that as we look upon the story of God's creation as our backdrop, we will discover and explore the importance of clear and precise vision for your life, ministry, business, and even family. These artistic principles shared in each chapter will help you stroke out the artistic creation that God has placed in all of us. The brand new book, Michael Berry's The Art of Becoming is available now on Amazon Kindle, iBooks, MichaelBerryMinistries.com, or call 313-444-6841. A must read for anyone who is serious about birthing your dreams, Demetrius Warren, Mr. Corn Beef. The words exude seemingly jumping off the pages. Dr. Beverly Sheard, educator and TV host. This book is for the dreamer who is in the process of putting their dreams into reality. Michael J. Kemp, New McFaul Brothers Funeral Home. The brand new book, Michael Berry's The Art of Becoming is available now on Amazon Kindle, iBooks, MichaelBerryMinistries.com or call 313-444-6841. The brand new book, Michael Berry's The Art of Becoming, is available now on Amazon Kindle, iBooks, MichaelBerryMinistries.com, or call 313-444-6841. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, and we are having a great time. This is one of my favorite segments of the show because I am a firm believer that even though a lot of people on the stage can sing, many times you find the best singers in the audience, right? So I want to do what we call a talent show. Destiny, let's do a talent show. Let's do it. Come here. Now, you got a basket. In this basket is names, just random names from the audience, right? Right. We're going to pull these names. Tell us who you pull, and then they got to come up here and sing for their prize. All right. All right. Who you got? Rick Estrella. Rick. 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 Ah. All right, going up against Rick is who? Tawana Seely. Tawana Seely. Where's Tawana? Ah, oh, yeah. Dang, honey. And the last one is? Albert Sh Shire. Albert. Albert, Albert. Shire. 
There it is. This is the talent show, ladies and gentlemen. Come with me. Stand right here. You come over here, Albert. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Where are you from, Albert? West Philly. West Philly in the house. Uh, what's your name? Tawana. Tawana, where are you from? Newark, Delaware. Newark, Delaware. Yeah. And you are? Rick Estelero. Rick Estelero. Where are you from, Rick? Northfield, New Jersey. Northfield, New Jersey. All right, so we got them all over. Do you know what you're going to sing? I have no idea. Lord, Jesus. Do you know what you're going to sing? Yes. And you know what you're going to sing? Uh, no. <laughs> all right, so you're going to be contestant number one, and your song is? Jesus is mine. Okay, Destiny, bring me your mic. Oh. Now what I'm gonna need you all to do is be able to sing your song and keep a straight face because I'm gonna talk all the way through your song. Go ahead. <laughs> your song is Jesus is mine. Okay, give me 30 seconds of it, go. Jesus is mine. Oh yes he is. My, my. Jesus is mine. Oh yes. I know what you know. Jesus is mine. Is that what you know? The Bible tells me so. Yeah, come on. Any key you want to sing it in, just that two keys. Jesus is a mine. Is a mine. How is she good now? Oh, oh yes. Mama. That Jesus is a mine. Is a mine. Asha <laughs> 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 Give me that mic, girl. <laughs> Jesus is hers, baby. Huh? Don't play with me. That's when you know you're good, when you start adding syllables. Is a mine. Huh? All right, bro. I don't know if I'm ready yet, man. <laughs> you got to be ready. Give me 30 seconds of anything you want to do. Give me 30 seconds, go. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. Yes, Jesus loves me. Uh -huh, going back to Sunday school. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, why you know that? Because the Bible tells me. <laughs> I ain't going to I ain't gonna pressure you. I ain't going to pressure him. I'm not going to pressure him. You understand me? <laughs> Lord. He said, let me go on back to my grandmama's church where she used to make me go to Bible study and to Sunday school. So, now, if he has any talent at all, y'all probably going to lose. All right. You stand a good chance, but it's up to the audience, so we never know. If you came with the right amount of people, you might win. <laughs> all right. What's your name again? Rick. Rick, what Rick. you singing? Uh, Lord, I'm a pilgrim. Lord, you did what? I don't know the name of it. it goes, Lord, Clearly. <laughs> he, said, he said, I don't know the name of it. The words in there say somewhere about a pilgrim, and it's me. <laughs> All right, give me 30 seconds. Go. Lord, I'm a pilgrim. Yes. Traveling through this land. Mm. Come on, high notes. Yes. Lord, won't you please? That's what I'm saying. Please. God, please. Oh, God, I'm God. Ooh, show him the way. And your voice, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> <This match. laughs> what? Don't play. Don't play. The talent is on this stage. Don't play with me. Y'all laughing at him now. Come one year. You heard Isabel Davis. It could be one year and she would be sitting in that seat talking about her latest single. All right, so we're going to vote. All right, and it's up to your applause who wins, okay? Contestant number one. All right, you got some love, Doc. Contestant number two. Yeah. Her family reunion might be in town, listen. <laughs> Contestant number three. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, the Pilgrim. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to have it on the Lonnie Hunter show. You just never know when you might win. Because let me tell you, you don't deserve that. You ain't sounding like no, nothing. <laughs> Favor. It's favor and favor ain't fair. Don't play with me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let you choose where you wanna go. And Destiny, you got the envelopes with the uh, gifts? All right, so these are your two choices. You choose and then you let us know where you're going. Five days, four nights in. You want Cancun, Mexico? Hey, Amen. Now that's a trip you for free, for real, because you ain't earned nothing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Come on, show them some love, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Stay close. There's a whole lot more of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show coming your way. Let's get it done. We'll be right back with more of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. The Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, all right? Lonnie Hunter. Lonnie Hunter. Lonnie Hunter, the Variety Show. All right, cool. Come on up front. So, so listen, this, this is what I'm gonna say. You're gonna hear me say a whole bunch of stuff about a video I'm about to play. And then I'm gonna say, these are some of my friends that just joining me for the show. And then I'm gonna ask you for your names, all right? And then I'm going to say, we are here. Where are we, y'all? And then y'all say the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, okay? Okay. Y'all ready? All right, stay close. I'm still out here, family, chilling in Philadelphia outside the home of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, and we are having a good time. Now, listen, you know how we do it, right? Every now and again, I'll tweak the show a little bit to give you something that just came out. My boy, John P. Key, has a brand new song out, and I'm going to let you check out the video, and then you can go download that joint. Now, listen. These kids right here that just walked up on me, so we might as well just put them on TV. You know what I'm saying? What's your name, bro? Jair. That's Jair right there. What's your name? Tony. Tony? Samaya. Samaya and? Sahai. How old are you? Seven. Seven. I'm the eight. He don't even know how old he is. <laughs> He's eight. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Eight. 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 All right, so when I say um, we are here at? And then y'all say the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Can y'all do that for me? Yes. We're going to see if they can pull this off, all right? We are here in Philadelphia at... The Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. <laughs> the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Y'all yes. stay close. I got to go. Y'all crazy. <laughs> gold. Absolute gold.
show. Ladies and gentlemen, Grammy Award winning and stellar award winning Miss Isabel Davis. Right where you are, would you just slip up your hand and just begin to tell the Father, God, we came to worship you. We came to pour out our love, our adoration, our affection on the God who is so deserving, so worthy. And we're grateful that while we did nothing to deserve or earn your love, there's nothing that we can do to be separated from your love. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. Hmm. All things have passed away. Your love has stayed the your constant praise remains the cornerstone. Things that we thought were dead are breathing in life again. You cause your sin to shine.
to tell you we love you. Anybody love him in this room? We sing this song to you, Jesus. We want to tell you you're our everything. Because you first loved us. Let's do it one time in Spanish. Cristo te amamos. Cuanto te amamos. Nuestro corazón. Te adoro. Thank you, God. You're worthy, Jesus. We'll be right back with more of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. And I had the honor of being in a group called the United Tenors with my amazing friends, Fred Hammond, Dave Hollister, and Brian Courtney Wilson. And of course, I got to have the noise of joy. What's up, everybody? We're 2103. I'm Evan. I'm Torrance. And you can check out our latest album, our newest music, Outsiders, everywhere on Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, and we've, we've got, got to have the noise of joy. Hi, I'm Drea, and this is the Shelby Five, and we've, we've got, got to have the noise of joy. joy. Hey guys, this is Casey J, and I've got to have the noise of joy. Yo, what up, family? This your boy, Pastor Marvin Elsap. And you know what? I've got to have the noise of joy. Greg, I am so excited. We have an opportunity to be a part of this great movie. Oh yeah, I'm just honored that Rod asked us to uh, be part of uh, what he's doing here in the city. Uh, Noise of Joy has just been an uh, integral part of the uh, gospel music scene for quite a few years now. Most definitely. You know, I'm grateful because Rod is also featuring me on several of the different segments of Noise of Joy. So again, Greg, you know what? We We've got, got to have the Noise, Noise of Joy, the movie. movie. I'm still out here looking like somebody's a uh, robber. <laughs> but we hopefully you had a good time and today's show was dedicated to you. Yeah. Listen, it's a whole lot of stuff coming up on the Lonnie Hunter show. 
We got John P. Key, we got Yolanda Adams, we got Jamal Bryant. We've got a whole lot of people that you haven't heard of, that you're gonna love, and some things that you're not accustomed to seeing on faith-based television. It's all coming your way. Now remember, I told you I had a big announcement at the end of the show, right? Have you been looking at what's around us? Have you been looking at everything? You see that sign right there? Before it's all over, it's gonna say, the home of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Oh! We are here in front of the Yesha Grand Ballroom. And um, from here on out, you're gonna be able to see how this thing turns into the staging of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show because we're gonna take you inside and it's about to be crazy. So Philadelphia, love you for real. Bishop Robinson, love you for real. And everybody, you're gonna get a chance to come see the show. So stay close for information about that. It's time for me to get out of here. Uh, how about I close the show out? Y'all wanna hear Lonnie Hunter and Structure doing the new single, Days of Elijah. Let's go! Yes, sir. It's time for us to get out of here, but I had to bring my singers up. Structure is in the house, and this is the brand new single. We call it Days of Elijah. Thank you for coming out to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. It's all good. Sing. And the trumpet call. Of Zion Hill. Out of Zion Hill. Destiny Day. Thank you, Mama. These are the days of Elijah. Preparing the word of the Lord. Oh, these are the days of his servant Moses. Righteousness being restored. These are the days of great trials. the voice in the desert crying prepare you the way
three parts. There's no God. Hunter Show, straight to you. We appreciate you. To Isabel Davis, we thank you, Isabel. To my co host for the week, Miss Destiny Diggs, we love you. Everybody say it real loud. It is the Lonnie Hunter Show, the variety show. God bless you. Get it done. I'm telling you, I'm one sandwich away from this whole outfit coming off me. <laughs> one good old sandwich. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Did he say keep on going, player? <laughs> now you see who my staff really is, right? All right. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We only have a few minutes left, but before we leave, I had to, to just hold up to my, to my side of the promise. Let's take that again. Thank you. I was gonna try to play it off, but it was, I was too far gone. I was too far gone. I was way out, I was way out there. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited to be able to bring this young lady to the stage right now. Has an unbelievable career, and it's getting even bigger and better. Yes, sir, with that. Sexy. Uh, all right now. <laughs> yes. Just tell me what kind of show it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all silly. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lonnie Hart. This guy right here, one of the baddest boys in the industry. Made some stuff happen that I never thought would be the case. This set, all of his life, I just gave him a vision. He ran with it, and I'm telling you right now, family, thank you. Absolutely, brother. We you are in it. this thing to win it. You painted the picture, and we just ran. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be ongoing because I ain't letting it go nowhere. From Vision to Manifestation is a superb, brilliant book worth reading. Bishop Dialdo Jones of Poor House Church in Indianapolis, Indiana. Riveting, dynamic, and insightful are just a few words that describe the message that Bishop Lloyd shares with his readers. Dr. Michael Carter, Praise City Worship Center, Toledo, Ohio. From Vision to Manifestation is a must read. When spiritual visions begin to manifest in the natural, God's perfect plan becomes complete. This book helps you hold on while waiting for the manifestation. Vernon Isby, CEO of the Gospel Connection magazine. Bishop Lloyd reveals secrets from heaven that will work on all ages, cultures, denominations to come. From the author, Bishop Eric Lloyd, From Vision to Manifestation. Available in stores and on Amazon. For more information, call 313-245-9055. From Vision to Manifestation.